Hi, I'm making this video to address uh, this question here. Any tutorials using BBVST with real band? Um, there was a reply to it that BBVST doesn't work with real band. That's not actually true. You can use the VST uh, in real band, and I'll show you how. However, the reply does go on to say that, of course, anything you can do with the plugin, those features are already built right into real band. So there, is, there isn't really a need to use those the, the plugin in real band. However, I will show you just in case anyone's curious or you wanted to actually try it out yourself, uh, you can. So what I'll do is I'll generate a short song uh, using the plugin. I'll then add a solo to it using the multi riff feature so you can see all that with the plugin. But then we'll restart the file and we'll do exactly the same thing just using the features right within real band. So here's real band and I'll click new to get a new uh, new file. So by default, all of the tracks here are audio tracks. Now, the Bannon Box plugin is an instrument um, uh, plugin, so we just need to change this the track type to MIDI. Even though we're not going to be using any MIDI here in this demonstration, if the track type is MIDI, then we can access the instrument plugins. So then I'll click on Effects, and right now it's just got my default Coyote Wavetable um, plugin loaded here. Uh, so if I click on this, we can see now it's already, I've already got it in here, uh, but if you don't see it in this list, you have to actually add the VST plugin. Um, and you can use the 64-bit version. You'd, you, you'd need to use like JBridge or something that would enable you to use the 64-bit plugin, or you can just pick the 32-bit plugin and use that. And that's what we'll do here. So uh, selecting add VST plugin and then selecting it here just adds it to the list of plugins and then from then on it will always be in there. So I've done that and it's now in here and it's added to the list for future use and now we have the plugin just like we've uh, if you've seen any of the other video tutorials you've seen it um, uh, you know used in Reaper or used in Pro Tools or whatever. So everything we can we did in those you can now do in here. So I'll just do something quick. We'll pick a style, um, and there was I was listening to a style earlier that I quite liked uh, called Babel. So I'll just pick that style, and it's a uh, 70 beats per minute. So um, so I'll set the song to doesn't have to be 70, but it's good if it's near 70. So I'll set it to 75, uh, and I'll set the real band song to 75 as well. So now I'll just enter some chords, uh, just something simple. C, G, A minor, F, G, C, and I'll end it at bar 8. So really short song. Uh, we'll generate this and then maybe I'll, I'll put a solo over just the last four bars of this. Uh, and we'll use the multi riff feature for that. So uh, I'll now just press generate. Now it's a short song, so this should be a quick generation. Uh, you can see the timeline line up here. These uh, green squares are all empty right now. When the tracks are ready, they will uh, be populated with a little waveform icon. And now they're ready to go. So now, just like in any other DAW, we can just drag these in. And I'll start them off at, um, at track two, just to leave this as the the track that contains the plugin. So I'll put them here. All right, and let's give that a listen. Cool. All right, so now maybe I'll highlight the last four bars and we'll generate, uh, use the multi riff feature to generate a solo that will give me seven options of different lines being played over this uh, section here. So um, we'll select and we'll select a multi riff. That opens the real tracks picker as opposed to the style picker, which we saw earlier. This, the real tracks picker gives you individual instruments. So um, let's go through here. Let's pick an artist, and there's some cool acoustic soloing 
that we, we uh, got recently from Brent Mason, who's recorded lots of great guitar styles for us. Uh, I'll pick the real track's type is I want a soloist. Uh, the feel is even even the sixteenths or eights would work over this, so there we go. <laughs> and a um, uh, tempo range. Tempo range, I'll put uh, anywhere from 60 to 85, and then it'll stretch to our tempo of 75. So anything within this tempo range should be good. Um, it's already narrowed the list down here. Um, now, I mentioned acoustic before, and that, that one could be good, but maybe I'll... Uh, actually, yeah, sure, I'll pick that acoustic guitar right there. So we'll pick that one. So now, uh, if you've seen any of the other tutorials, you'll see that this this area is separated into a few different sections. These are the, the be these are the style tracks. So these are all of the tracks that are associated with this Babel Slow Americana style. Then we have this area would be for the middle area would be for if we had any just individual like loops that we wanted to add or or individual real tracks, just single track stuff, and then this down here of course, is the multi-riff. So, I will now generate um, multi-riff riffs of selected region. So, that's all generating right now. Like before, once it's ready, we'll see the waveforms in here. I'll also move this over because now we're, we're going to want to drag this to bar 5 here. So... Uh, I'll also just snap to beat here so that things, when we drag them in, they'll snap there. Now I'm actually going to undo this because I forgot one thing. Uh, this is actually a good feature that uh, when you're using the multi-riff feature, it puts a bar of silence before. Um, and it, it, that actually kind of mirrors what would happen if you were recording a, a, a real musician doing this, you'd want to give them a bar of lead in. They might play a little bit before the bar there. So um, so I'm actually going to undo that. Undo that import. Oh, I guess I undo all of these. Ah, it only let me undo up to there. So, well, let's see if I drag these now and put them at bar four instead. Ah, it's just going to go over top of it. So that's fine. So once those are all in there, uh, I can now close this up and we can do what, what you normally do with this kind of thing is uh, comp together a part or listen to them individually and uh, to hear the one you like the best. So. Let me check out the next one here. So I like that one. So maybe we'll keep that one. I added you. You probably noticed I added some reverb to reverb to it because it was sounding pretty dry. Um, we can, this was what I had accidentally put in before, so we can delete that. Yeah, so we can keep that track. All right, so that's uh, that's pretty much, that's using the plugin within RealBand. But now, as we pointed out before, uh, everything you did in here with the plugin, you can actually do right in RealBand itself. And so I'll show you that again by pressing New. We'll also set the tempo here to 75. And we'll pick that same style right from within uh, Real Band. So now we're not using the plugin. This is the style picker right within Band in a Box. We're picking that same style. Um, and now we'll go to the Chords window. This is, again, right within Real Band. We'll go C, F, A minor, G, C, F, A minor, F, G, C. And we'll end it at 
bar 8. We have a two bar ending. So now we'll just go, well, let's go back to the tracks window and we'll go generate all BB tracks. So now it's generated the bass part, now the guitar part, another guitar part, mandolin, and drums. So now they're, the tracks are colored differently uh, because now these are actual band in a box tracks. They're kind of designated band in a box tracks, whereas the ones we dragged in were just ordinary audio tracks. So let's listen to this now. So there you go, and it was actually a little quicker than using the uh, the plugin, um, and a little easier just because it's built right in. Uh, so either of those options are are perfectly fine, but yeah, you certainly can use the um, you certainly can use the the plugin within Real Band. And now um, maybe I'll just I'll just generate two bars of the multi riff. Uh, so I'll highlight those two bars. I'll right click. And I'll go generate, and we'll go multi riff here. So this time, I mean, we can use the same filters, but that's it's sometimes quicker to just use something like that. Uh, just used a text filter, uh, and in this case, okay, great. Maybe I'll put maybe this time I'll put an electric guitar on it instead of the acoustic. So um, maybe a country Brent one here. So I'll pick that. I'll hit OK. So it's now doing... Uh, oh, and now the, there's actually a dialogue as well. So you don't need to, to generate all um, all of them. You can sample them right within here. And you can also allow multiple riff selections so that you can either pick an individual one that you like and just pick that, or you can pick a couple of them and it will put them all on different tracks. So maybe we don't want to bother with all of these. We just want it to have just those three three riffs. And it even generated the MIDI uh, for them as well. So uh, again, uh, everything we did in the, uh, in the the with the plugin, we could duplicate here in Real Band as well. All right, I hope that was helpful.